the sign of Pisces. Hello and welcome to my channel. So, Pisces, for the present time, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. And she's paired with the Three of Swords. So, the Queen of Pentacles is showing in this picture that you'll probably be spending time and money and energy on your home. Probably getting it to be more comfortable. And keep in mind, this is a good thing provided you don't take on too much debt. People could be looking to you for insight and maybe some advice at this time. And you'll be able to help them if you choose to do so. This is going to be a time period when you're going to get a whole lot accomplished. So basically, the Queen of Pentacles, it's paired with this Three of Swords, which is an ugly card in the tarot. Now, this card is about some type of sorrow that's undeniable. But what's on the other side of this sorrow, it can be enhanced understanding and joy. So it's about allowing yourself to fully experience any pain or sorrow that comes up. You want to do this so that you can move past it. This card, it points to maybe some very deep emotional issues that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you do deny any type of pain, it will not make it go away. So allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up. Make sure you don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough. And others, they will not be able to decide this for you. So basically, for the present time, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords. You may be experiencing, like I said, some depression with this Three of Swords. It could just be some, um, some, some sorrow and pain for some reason. Some sadness. If you're in a relationship, this card it points to relationship difficulties and you two could be shutting each other out. There could be some rejection there. Um, but the Queen of Pentacles is showing that you, you're really wanting comfort. Yeah, you want it, you're wanting comfort in your home and just basically all around you. That's what you're trying to focus on. But there's something um, that's making you really sad. So if you're dealing with someone, let's talk about how they see you. So for how they see you, they... Well, we have the Sun card. See that big, pretty yellow card at the top where it says they see you? And then it's the Three of Pentacles right below. Now, they see you like the Sun card, which is meaning that uh, things are going well. The Sun card also explains that your finances, they're in great shape. But it's, it doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's really important in life and money is probably not high on the list for some of you Pisces but a lot of you it is I know for me it is now this is also a good time to socialize and I guess you'll be doing that online these days and to meet new people when you get the Sun card so if you're looking for a new job this card it signifies that it's right around the corner So, it's paired with the Three of Pentacles. Well, first of all, with the Sun card, they see you as they're bright and happy. They see you as, um, you're either wanting to add sunshine to their life or you do. And that's how they see you with the Sun card. But it's clarified with the Three of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Pentacles is a very positive card in the tarot. It's a good card. Overall, that means that you're doing really well, or you will be. It tells you that people around you, they appreciate you and your efforts, 
And then notice the quality of work that you do, even if you don't get a paycheck. This card, it tells you to keep doing what you're doing because you're on the right track. So, you will not have to scrap something and then start again with the Three of Pentacles. So, your person, like, they say, like I said before, they see you as adding a lot of sunshine to their life with the Sun card. And the Three of Pentacles, they see you wanting team, teamwork, collaboration with them. And they see you as offering benefits. Yeah. They see they benefit from you. So let's move on over. Let's take a look at how you see your person. Now the person you're dealing with, you see them as the Five of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Now the Five of Cups, it's a card that reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. You might ask yourself, what are you going to choose to focus on? The implication is probably clear. Are you going to cry over spilt milk or are you going to focus on the milk that you still have and get on with things? The point is, it's about watching where you put your focus and make sure that the focus is for your highest good. So, you see them suffering some type of loss or feeling disappointed about something that happened in this connection. And it's clarified with this Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords, it brings a fairly upbeat and cheerful energy. As you can see, this man is on this animal, this goat or cow or whatever he, that is. And he's charging really fast with the sword in his hand. So it's about a lot of energy. Uh, often with this card, it means that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It points to your physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a high peak. If you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. It's about a lot of activity, travel, getting out and about, getting things accomplished. And you're unlikely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. And that's a good thing. So it's about going after your, your heart's desires. So you see them as planning to take action towards you. They're... Um, they're coming towards you in a really great way with matters of the heart. So if you're in a committed relationship, it could brighten up quite a bit and become a whole lot deeper and more satisfying with this Knight of Swords. But they have to decide first if they're going to cry over spilt milk, something that happened in this connection that made them unhappy, or if they're going to get on with things. And um, it looks like they are going to get on with things with you. And they're going to come, come charging in really fast. In a great way. Probably trying to offer you a... Well, probably... Like I said, this um, Knight of Swords is about someone desirable coming to seek you out so the disappointment doesn't last long put it that way whatever they were crying about that made them um, feel like there was loss and regret in this connection it turns around and they they let it go and now they're planning to take action toward you in a very positive way and pretty fast so you'll be getting news from them and it will be something that you would like to hear. Now, let's talk about why it's happening. So it's happening due to the Nine of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Now, the Nine of Wands is about anxiety and worry, being, bird up, being burdened and keyed up over certain concerns. Now, the first and the best step is to take a deep breath and calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you can do that. Because at least some of the worries, they'll turn out to be imaginary. So it's about getting specific on what you're afraid of. 
and pick it apart one by one. Ask yourself, what is the true likelihood of the worry actually ha happening? If you can see this man, he has these, he's like, I guess he's at a park, and he has these nine wands surrounding him. And it looks like he's about to go to battle or fight someone, but there's actually no one around. So, basically, ask yourself, what is the likelihood of the worry actually happening? Comfort yourself, and if you need help, don't hesitate to ask for it. Asking for help is the mark of a strong person. So, why is happening? Uh, the Nine of Wands is showing that there's some stress in this connection. Someone feels um, like they need to be guarded and closed off. Now, the Queen of Wands is clarifying. It's paired with this Nine of Wands. And the Queen of Wands is about a woman who has a lot of fire energy. She could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. When it's not referring to an actual person, it stands for getting a whole lot accomplished. And it's a very uplifting energy. If this does stand for an actual person in your life, she's a really good friend. 100% up on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. And also when you get the Queen of Wands in your reading, if you're trying to conceive, it's uh, it's one of the most positive signs it can be. There can be. So basically, why is happening? Nine of Wands, Queen of Wands. Someone's worried and stressed out here. With the Nine of Wands. But then with the Queen of Wands... There's a very positive energy here. Someone's very determined about this connection. Very determined. Determined. Uh, so let's let's go through this reading so that we can get the full picture here. So basically, for the present time, you got the Queen of Pentacles, where you could be feeling like. You just want to be comfortable at home, or that's what you're doing. But there's some sadness there about something, and it's undeniable. Uh, a lot of us are feeling sad these days because we're in a new, we're in a new, um, what do you call it? A new, I guess it's a new phase, or something different, different is going on. And um, a lot of us just don't know what to make of it. So that could be a part of why this Three of Swords is showing in your reading. But um, someone's spending a lot of time at home like we're all doing. So this card should come up for every reading, but it doesn't. But it's in your reading, Pisces. So um, I'm picking up this is pretty strong for you, for a lot of you. And your person, you add a lot of, they see you adding a lot of happy and sunshine to their, their life. So they like you a lot. And with the Three of Pentacles, uh, they see benefits with you. Yeah. Growth and benefits. And you see them as, they're letting go of whatever they were disappointed of, disappointed about in this connection. You know, they're coming in real fast to let you know that they've gotten over it. They're no longer crying over spilt milk. And you're still their bright and happy days. Now, why it's happening? This card of anxiety and being worried and stressed out and closed off and, and guarded. It could have something to do with this three of swords we talked about the sadness and depression so a lot of times when people go through um, some type of sorrow and pain it makes you want to be closed off so you could have been shutting your person out or they could have been shutting you out or shutting you off because there's some someone was feeling really really bad about something could be something that happened in the situ in this in this connection something that made someone sad 
because for a little bit someone was crying over spilled milk but they let it go so like I said all this comes with anxiety and that's why that card is there but the Queen of Wands it's saying that um, uh, you or your person is very determined about this connection the Queen of Wands is um, a person who knows her worth and she's very confident uh, even though like I said she can be a bit self-absorbed but uh, this person is 100% on your side so there's a great friendship a great friendship in this connection and um, 